This is the big room in our building that currently has our kitchen, our ping pong table, our shipping stuff, our 3D printers. It's mostly open and not really used. Oh, nice. <laughs> but we have to do a bunch of stuff in here. So we have fluorescent lights we have to swap out, a rack for plywood. We need to move our shipping stuff. We have to paint all the walls. What else do we have to do? Uh, build a, like a big assembly table in the middle of the room. Yes. Uh, and we have like a couple of days because there's snow coming and we gotta get it done so we can actually use it. And so since there's a bunch of tasks, we decided that a fun none way of to us wanna do. <laughs> Nobody wants to do any of this stuff and it's all like we have to. So we came up with a way to figure it out. Yeah, so Anthony is gonna play too because we need more than one hand. So we're gonna play ping pong. The winner of the three of us gets to shoot the other two people doing the work. So yes. basically I won't be doing my job. Because I'm really bad at ping pong. It's I'm a, winner, I'm be shooting the whole time. winner gets to control the camera so they don't have to do grunt work. You're gonna see so much of Anthony in this video. <laughs> That's true. So the tasks are building the lumber rack, building the table, yeah. painting, swapping out light fixtures. Ugh. But the rack, the table are already it's a kit. We're not building yeah. it from scratch normally. We normally would, but yeah. the kit is a, or the rack is a kit. The table is like a base kit that we had to put a tabletop on. So like, of oh, those tests, they're not as bad. The lights suck. Painting, you painted the other side of the building, it sucks too. So you gotta put your game face on for those. So the first task is gonna be paint? Sure. Okay, game one. Terrible place to Either direction you want. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so close! Nice. Did you get that? Nice. Ow! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna leave his paint bucket open and if I can get a ping pong ball in the bucket during this game, I don't have to do any of the work. If you don't, you have to use this as your paddle. <laughs> <laughs> so, I lost. Where are you going? Right, so it's hard to pull focus when you're running. I'm testing you, Josh. Not gonna be great. I'm pretty sure the loser should be the camera operator. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to warm up? Yes. You got, you got this, Anthony. I'm not left-handed. He's a patsy. Woo! You're beating him already. He does have like super long arms. Tell me when you're ready. I'm already warmed up. Perfect. We're playing until 11. I, went, I, I made it through the count. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Got you, camera. Paints on there. Enough. Enough, enough to make a ball. ball. Oh! oh! You, it. <laughs> you banked it in. <laughs> Dang it. I'll take the point though. All right, All right now we have. Now the you got to play with that ball. Did your spin serve just work? Uh, I didn't even say spin serve. <laughs> spin serve. <laughs> So now you two have to play. No, we both lost, because you beat us both. Yeah. So nobody does anything. <laughs> no, I don't have to do any of the work this entire video. I think he set this up. He's been practicing at night, trying to hit targets. Let's call dude perfect. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get it out of here. Mm. <laughs> that's that's Bob's contribution. There I painted. What'd you find? Uh, I was looking at the electrical and there's some pans in the ceiling. I heard something go thump. They might be empty. Or maybe a dead mouse. I'm kind of nervous, honestly. It's maybe treasure. Uh, it feels empty. Oh! Dead animal souffle. <laughs> ah! What is that? 
car. You want it? Too. You want me to go put it in your car for you? Absolutely not. That's disgusting. Here's another one. The next morning. Things changed a little bit. So even though I won the greatest shot in the history of Ping Pong oh! and shouldn't have to do any of the work, I decided to go ahead and paint the walls last night because winter weather is piling up outside. We got tons of rain. It's supposed to start freezing in about two hours and 45 minutes and we have a lot to do. So I went ahead and painted, but we got to get as much done as we can possibly get done. And we probably won't get to play a whole lot more Ping Pong. You know, if we get stuck here, because of freezing rain, we, can, we get a lot there. Yeah, you can have like a sleepover. It's the best thing. What you doing, Anthony? <laughs> well, the next task at hand was to start swapping these lights out for the LED panels because we hate fluorescence. Uh, and because I'm so bad at ping pong, I just went ahead and decided that I lose by default and just started working on the lights. Probably a good bet. <laughs> <laughs> we got Winter Storm. They gave it a name. I don't know what the name is, though. Felix, Bob. <laughs> Winter Storm Bob, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna move these panels so I can see where the wires are going and, and swear to myself a few times as I try to twist wire nuts on the 12 gauge wires. Maybe we should like bat cave it in here and replace all of these ceiling tiles with lights. That'd be awesome. And they turn on in sequence and then everybody goes home blind. All right, new lights, let me see them. These are the new ones. And they work. All right, let's compare those to the old ones down there. Ew. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna play ping pong with a paintbrush right now because we've had a weird few days. So the whole idea was that we were gonna work on this whole room and then we had an ice storm and everybody had to go home and I came over the weekend and finished the painting, but we still have a huge amount of work to do and we have to do it all today. Yep. So we're gonna do a little challenge, another game, like a little tournament, and whoever wins the tournament gets to pick their first job, so pick the easiest job. Second place gets to pick the other one, and then Anthony gets to do whatever's left over. That's what you have to play for though, right? Because he's not good. <laughs> but, in the meantime, I wanna see if I can play to five, first sure. to five, with a paintbrush. Right. One. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just game point for everybody, this is it. Oh no! <laughs> so close though. <laughs> I've been practicing. Not true. No. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Josh wins! Well, you're out. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe, which is awesome because we trust Simply Safe to secure our office and all of our homes. So do three million other Americans. Now, if you're a person who has maybe a leaky water heater or a kid that likes to sneak out of the house at night or a pool in the backyard and you want to make sure you know when people are going in and out, all those things are covered by the sensors that come with the Simply Safe system. On top of all those sensors that I mentioned before, they've also got smoke detectors, motion sensors, sensors at every door and window to know if they're open or closed, glass break sensors, sirens. They've got everything you need to completely secure your home. Basically what you do is you go to simplysafe.com slash ILTMS, you build out a complete set of sensors and all the things that you need, indoor, outdoor cameras, everything for your space, and then they ship it to you in a box. It takes about 30 minutes to set up the entire system. It's incredibly easy, and then you're up and running. Plus you can get interactive monitoring for less than a dollar a day. So if any of those sensors are tripped, not only will you know about it, but Simply Safe will let the authorities know as well. All of us here trust Simply Safe, and we hope you will too. If you want to find out more, go to simplysafe.com slash ILTMS. Again, that's going to get you 20% off and a free month of interactive of monitoring. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. I win, which means I get to choose the job that I want. What jobs are there left? Look around. <laughs> um, we should have made it for you one. assign the jobs. A little bit of that one. Ooh, I could assign the jobs. A couple pieces of that one. I can do whatever I want to. I'm going to assign the jobs. I'm going to take out recycling. That's good. I didn't want that job. Yeah, <laughs> Anthony's yeah. going to finish the lighting. Josh is going to finish everything else. No, Josh is going to make the table. 
and then we'll all work on getting everything back in place. And then, uh, plot twist, at the very end, we're gonna play one more interesting game, and whoever loses that has to clean the bathroom. Okay. After Anthony. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have Taco Bell for lunch. Uh, I am going to build, Bob's gonna cut off a little piece of that over there. But we're gonna build an assembly table that's probably gonna go up against this area. I think Bob did a good job with the tasks since you've done lighting before. I'm gonna organize all of this stuff and put it in a logical kind of flow. I'm gonna move everything where it is gonna go, hopefully, like forever. forever. All right, so another thing about this that we're not actually gonna do in the video that we were originally planning was a big rack for plywood and it was supposed to go right here so that you could take sheets, lay down, and slide them in. That way we could bring them in from outside, put them right in there, and then when we want to take them into the CNC room, <laughs> then when we want to take them into the CNC room, we could just pull them out on that cart, roll them into the room, and put them on the table. But that thing's not here yet, and I don't know when it's gonna get here. But I did want to talk about why we're putting that here instead of in that room. We decided that it would just be easier to have that storage right in the door but in here is the real reason. Because we looked at a bunch of different options for actually storing all that material in this room with the CNC, and we were gonna put a big rack right here. We looked at uh, laying the pieces vert or horizontally, stacking them, standing them up vertically, and basically you just have to have some easy way to lift the pieces off and get them on the CNC. We decided that leaving them in this orientation and then having a cart that you could put it on, roll it up to the CNC, and then flip it and slide it onto the table is the plan. So that's kind of where we're going with this. It may change over time, but whenever we get that rack, it will go out there. Uh, what are you doing? I'm standing on the ground. This is not attached. I am gonna do the other half of the lights in this room because I lost, but also because uh, I kind of figured out how I want to do it from the other side. And this hopefully should go by a lot faster, so. I'm gonna take out these old fluorescents, wire up some new LED panels, and it's gonna look a lot nicer in here. So the first step in the assembly instructions of this Craig uh, table base is to apply a giant Craig sticker. We got nothing against Craig, but we bought this, so we're gonna put a different sticker on it. So the lumber rack that we didn't think was going to show up just showed up. And so I was hoping we could kind of avoid doing it now and have to do it later, but we can't. That's the spirit. <laughs> so we still have the bathrooms to clean. The rest of the space is looking really good. And to figure out who's going to clean the bathroom, it's going to be two people. So the winner is not going to clean the bathroom, and the other two are. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is one person has a ping pong battle, the other person has a nerf gun, and we're gonna see who can hit the most nerf darts with a ping pong paddle. Whoever wins is not gonna have to clean the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So how many was it? One? One okay. clean. One for George. Oh! oh. oh. I have one, Bob has one. Let's see if we can shoot anything. Was that it? I hit it. Apparently that didn't work because we all got one over and over and over. So we're gonna just duel for it. So we get one bullet each, 10 paces. You count off at 10 and then turn. You count to 10. And then once he says 10, turn to fire. All right, ready? I'm out of focus. Y'all are gonna have to take short paces because I'm not gonna get both of you. <laughs> One. Get in line. Five. There you go, five. Okay, ready? <clears throat> yeah. One, two, three, four. You're out of frame. Hold on, let me just. Three paces? Yeah. You gotta do ready so then we know to hit on one. One, two. <laughs> So this is how you would settle disputes in old times where we would just get pissed at him. That's right. Somebody's gonna die and it's not us. Ready and, okay, for real. Ready, one, two, three, four. Ah, Wait. Four? What are you doing? I thought I were five. Three pieces. I'm going home. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> I hear y'all whispering. <laughs>